Hey guys, what's happening, people? Hello, everyone. What is up? What is up? How are you guys doing? How's your day so far? What's new in life? Hi, hi, Bargavi. Hi, Madhu. Hi, Liz, Lizzie. What's up? Hi, Kohesh. What's up? What's up? What's up? Long time no see. I know it's been 24 hours. Missed you guys a lot. What's up? So, how was your day so far? What's new in life? How's everything going? All good, all great. What's up? Guys, hold on, I'm not able to, yeah, I'm not able to see your chat here. Yeah. Good evening, people. What's up? So, yeah, my name is Arab and this is Vidantu. A very, very warm welcome to all of you guys out there. I hope that all of you guys are doing good and uh, have been taking good care of yourself. So, uh, today is going to be the third session. Unfortunately, it's not the second session. Uh, small change is going to be the third session of Household Circuit. So, we'll be talking a little bit about fuses and uh, switches in today's session. So, but before we get started, people, how are you people feeling today everyone feeling good energetic like everything going on good how many of you guys are in a bad state of mind right now like in a bad mood someone scolded you something did not go your way whatever it is i know but then it's life people it's okay take it chill you guys are only in uh, 10th grade right now there's a long life to go so relax yourself whatever you think is bad right now no matter how bad it might look like uh, it's actually not that bad people because there's a lot of things that you can do in life uh, it's just a bad day so take it chill relax yourself and uh, look forward for the next day right so that's all I can say welcome to today's session once again and yes people like I told you today today's topic is going to be a rather interesting one because we'll be talking about things that is going on inside our own houses so in fact this entire chapter it's of this household circuit itself talks about everything that goes on around you so today I uh, will focus on fuses I will understand what exactly is a fuse why is it so important and also we'll understand a little bit about switches as well so before we get started are you guys ready are you all ready for today's session? Yes, people in the chat box. I want to see some Josh. And that Josh gives me also some Josh. Yeah, ready? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. No? Okay, Pratik. Okay, good afternoon to you too. Ready? Awesome, guys. Awesome. Yeah, by the way, happy Makra Shankarati, people. So, I'm going to uh, start this quest, this, this session with a quote. A very, uh, it's not exactly a quote. It's just a statement. But a statement true nonetheless. The quote is this, guys. Hope but never expect look forward but never wait whatever it is that you want to achieve in life people you can hope for things to change but don't expect it to happen because there are a few things that you can't change so don't expect anything to happen and on on for like you know another word don't wait for something to happen go ahead and do that for yourself right so with that said people let us move ahead by the way guys one more announcement one more exciting announcement for you guys is this that we have got the vidantu's got talent 2020 which is going to be happening on uh Without the 9th and 10th uh, YouTube channel, obviously, it will be on the YouTube channel. So it's going to be on Saturday at 3 p.m. That is on 16th. So mark your calendars. Enjoy your uh, friends showcasing their own talents even some of the teachers will be showcasing their own talents so you can check it out on the Vedanta 9th and 10th uh, YouTube channel as well so that said people let's now start off with the quiz so quickly join the Mentimeter we're gonna do a couple of questions from what we did in the previous session so this is, I told you that this is how it's gonna be and this is called as a backtrack round to you know go back in what we did in the previous session so quickly join the Mentimeter the code for today is 1452798 once you're in let me know people so that we can get started so the uh, all you have to do is this people all of those who are new all you have to do is this go to www.menti.com m-e-n-t-i.com and enter the code 1452798 quickly do it people let's go code is one five five sorry one four five two seven nine eight quickly join the menti media people quickly join it once you are in let me know so we can get started right quickly 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 the code is this one four five two seven nine eight i know that every one of you guys want quizzes so let's do it quick quick let's go let's go about the last session i know i know Shadu. it's okay it's okay i don't think the questions are that hard uh so it's okay relax but next time make sure that you watch the previous video also before you attend the session yep yeah i know right man it's very even i like this chapter it's, it's an it's it's very uh, relatable chapter it's one of the most relatable chapters because you are using it every day you know electricity is something that you're using it every day so yeah 
Code not visible. Shares are uh, already the code one four five two seven nine eight. That is the code. All right, one four five two seven nine eight is the code. So quickly enter the code and join the quiz. Done. All right, people. There are about uh, fourteen of you guys here. Let's quickly do it, people. I am going to start the quiz in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. The first question for the day. Take a look at this one. Enjoy the quiz. Here it is. Electric meter. is used in the circuit to do what to reduce the electricity usage to track the electricity usage to increase the electricity usage or none of these why do we have electric meters at homes and offices and schools and everything like what is the reason for it is it to reduce the electricity usage is it to keep a track of the electricity usage is it to increase the electricity usage or none of these seven seconds Let's go. No idea. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Fourteen of you guys were able to give the right answer. That is not bad at all, people. A couple of you guys went with the wrong answer. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. Track the electricity usage is exactly the right answer. It's basically to keep a check on the uh, the energy consumption. That is why we have electric meters. So here is your first leaderboard. At the end of that question, pretty much all of you guys gave the right answer. I don't think there's going to be any any surprises that you can expect. But Swayam on the top, followed by Abhishek sir. Bless us as always. Keshav Gandhi. Then we have Magical Rhino. <laughs> Right, that's a unicorn. Now. Then it's Gaurav Yadav. Then it's uh, Pinaki Born to Shine. Good to know, right? Then it's Kohish Boti Make Boat Face and Atman. And then Gunjan as well. Right? Where do you get all all these uh, funky names? I don't understand. But yes, congratulations, people. Nonetheless, moving on to the second question for the day. Take a look at this one, guys. Here's another one. Take a look at this one. Let's go. Home circuit is connected in parallel. Because of what? Because in parallel circuit resistance is maximum. In parallel circuit, even if one device is damaged, the other will not be affected. Both of these or none of these. Let's go. Fifteen more seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sure, Sneha. Tell me what's your doubt. Please type it out and send it to me. I'll try to clear it up. Yeah. Please do that. Yeah. All right. Hi, uh, Lipika. What's up? How you doing? Please come live more often. Oh, yeah, I am coming live now. Nah, I mean, yeah, last week it wasn't the case, but this from now on I will be coming live a lot more than uh, usual. Fifteen of you guys once again, but unfortunately seven of you guys went with the wrong answer. That is big. That is actually big. Think about it, guys. In parallel circuit, the resistance is minimum. In series circuit, the resistance is maximum. So obviously it will be option number B. Why? Because even if one of the device is damaged in a parallel circuit, like for example your bulb gets fused, it will not affect your TV. It will not affect your you know radio or your uh, refrigerator. It is not going to you know it is not going to matter at all. That is why we prefer parallel connection over series. Because in series, even if one is affected, the entire uh, connection is affected. So because of this reason, we go with parallel connection. Beautiful guys! Congratulations to all the guys who gave the right answer. But if you got it wrong, please, please, please check your basics, people. Get it corrected. Your final exams are approaching soon, so make sure that you, you know, keep all of this in mind. Nonetheless, Keshav was the first one. So Keshav and APK ICSC was the first one. So follow by Abhishek sir. Then it's Pinaki. Then it's Yuvraj. Love Ab ICSC and see, thanks a lot, boy. Thanks a lot, da. Kohish Earthman Punya Hom Homogeneous Himaksh. <laughs> all right then it's uh, sebastian and apk okay himanshu all right <laughs> for your names you deserve a bow all right moving on to the third question people the last question after which we'll be moving on to the topic for today and then we will uh, come back to the quiz later on so let's take a look at the last one as well which of the following wire is used to return the path for the current is given as the return path for the current all right that is a question the live wire the earth wire the neutral wire or both live and neutral wire which of the following wire is used to give return path for the current your options live wire earth wire neutral wire or both live and neutral wire let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go Sure, Sneha. Please do questions on uh, important five mark questions. Sure, no, why not? Why not? That's actually a very good idea. I'll do that. Yeah. Ah, uh, Lepika, can you please type it out and send it to me because I probably might have missed it out. So if I don't see your doubts, guys, can you please uh, spam it a little? It's okay to spam at that time. Fifteen of you guys were able to give the right answer. That is a good number, people. That is a good number again. And yes, 
definitely is it is not the earth wire it is the neutral wire so you have the live wire that is carrying the current into the electric circuit or, or into the electronic device and the neutral wire carries it away from the electronic device but remember it's because for your for a circuit to work you need a complete circuit you need a complete you know circuit it, it should it should be like current should enter and leave so current enters through the live wire and leaves through the neutral wire and if there's any extra charge that is the one that leaves through the earth wire beautiful guys i hope you guys are clear with that particular concept again it's a basic stuff but again it's very important as well right nonetheless keshav oh, still on top followed by abhishek then then it's uh, pinaki kwahesh earthwind punya sebastian goes to the bottom because of the last question then we have apk icc mars abhijay and sebastian congratulations to you well done now do not leave the quiz question uh, mentimeter because we'll be coming back to this so quick quickly switch to the tab i mean come back to youtube so that we can uh, continue with the topic and then once we're done with that again we will uh, go back to the quiz all right so let's understand the topic give me like 15 20 minutes that's more than enough and then again we'll do the quiz all right fuse all right everyone everyone's here yeah can we get started people everyone's here no nobody is uh, still uh, stuck in uh, mentimeter everyone's back right yeah in the chat box all or if you just left over of the quiz here no all it's okay it's okay it's okay there no worries yeah all of you okay fuse no i'm pretty sure that every one of you guys here have seen this device at least once in your life at least one thing you have probably seen this this is what is called as a fuse now what is a fuse let me tell you that first see guys first of all fuses can be of different kinds you have this kind of fuse which is generally used in uh, houses and industries and stuff and then you have these kind of fuses as well which you generally see in uh, you know big big devices like your refrigerators and microwave ovens even your you know extension cords that you have the extension boards and all if you open it up you will actually be able to see this now the thing about fuse is that fuse allows a certain amount of current to flow not everything but a certain amount so the current is actually limited it's actually limited now if the current exceeds that fixed limit what happens is that due to the heating effect of electric current it gets broken the circuit gets broken you can clearly see that in the gif you can see that so once it exceeds a certain limit what happens you know that when current is passing through a circuit heat energy is also produced that is what is called as heating effect of electric current we've already seen that from your 7th grade you have studied this that heating effect of electric current is nothing but when current is passing through a conductor there is heat energy also produced that is because of resistance you've already studied that now here what happens here what happens is that there is a certain limit to which the current can flow if it exceeds that certain limit if it exceeds if the current flowing through that circuit exceeds that limit more amount of heat energy is produced obviously more current more heat energy and when that happens here's what happens that the fuse gets broken in other words the connection is broken in other words it melts or gets blown off you can, you've probably heard this word the fuse is blown the reason why this happens is because the current has exceeded that particular limit so if you have to define what is a fuse in the most simplest term how do you define a fuse a fuse is nothing but a safety device which is used to limit the flow of current because you can see guys you cannot you know for example for to run a simple bulb i cannot allow you know what to say 20 amp of current flowing through it what will happen it will lead to overheating and that overheating could even lead to it catching fire so to avoid all these kind of conditions to avoid the short circuiting of the device to all avoid the overheating of the device that is why we use fuse and that is why it's called as a safety device and this fuse works on only one principle and that principle is nothing but the heating effect of electric current did you understand this people is it clear so far so good yes is it clear so far understood what is fuse is it clear what is fuse clear everyone all good understood understood or not yo people understood everyone is so busy talking to each other is it clear clear people all right i'll come back to the topic then come back to the topic now the the temperature that is that is you know produced the temperature in the circuit or inside the fuse wire depends on two factors 
One is the amount of current passing through the circuit. The other is the thickness of the wire as well. So basically, if you want to talk about the relationship, it's this T, which represents temperature, is directly proportional to the square of the current. That means if current decreases, the temperature also increases. And the temperature is indirectly proportional to the, the radius of the wire. So greater the radius, if the radius increases, then the temperature is going to be less. If the radius of the uh, of the fuse wire is less, then the temperature is going to be more. So depending on how much current you want it to, or how much heat energy you want it to produce, or how much amount of current it should be able to withstand, we decide depending on the current and also the thickness of the wire used inside of it. So if you want more amount of current to pass through it, and if you want a higher, basically if you want a higher amount, you know, if you want to run a higher device, a higher powered device, over there you'll be using a bigger or a thicker wire because it'll allow more current to pass through it. On the other hand, if you want to run a simple device, a smaller device, like a simple bulb or something like that, in that case, you would be using a smaller, uh, th a thicker or a thinner wire so that it allows only a less amount of current passing through it, right? Now, talking about the material itself. See, guys, a fuse can be in different forms, like I told you. So this is also uh, a type of fuse that I can see in some in simple circuits, you can see this. This is the type of fuse that is used, like I told you, in houses, and this is the type of fuse that is used in electronic devices. Now, the only two conditions that you have to follow when you are choosing the fuse material is, one is that it should have a low melting point because if the current exceeds it should be able to disconnect itself it should because of the heating effect of electric current it should melt off if that doesn't happen then the, there's no point of having a fuse at all so you have to make sure that the wire that you use has a low melting point and secondly it should be highly conductive as well it should not be a resistant so you can't use a like you can't use for example you can't use uh, you know nichrome wire or tungsten uh, as a fuse wire why because it has very high resistance that is not going to serve your purpose you need it to be highly conductive but secondly you should also have a low melting point because if it has higher melting point then again it would uh, it would you know it will not serve the purpose because a lot uh, no matter how much amount of current is passing through it it will not melt and then uh, the circuit would continue to work even uh, if the current exceeds a certain limit. Now, talking about the construction of a fuse. See, guys, it's very simple. In a fuse, generally what we use are, we use something called as porcelain. Porcelain is nothing but, you know, your china dish, you will probably heard, you know, those uh, dishes that you have, like uh, your parents take out only when, uh, you know, when a guest comes, right? Have you ever seen those, uh, you know, those plates that your parents take out only when your uh, when a you know guest comes in otherwise they always give you a normal plate so that you don't break it how many of you guys have this uh, you know uh, have follow this at home like I, I know that i do because at my, at my home is like you know and my mom is like exactly like that she's, she's very scared that i'll break the plate so she'll give me a you know, steel plate so, but when a guest comes in to make them feel special and all they use a yeah they use this thing you know, the, the that that is the material that they use. So basically they use porcelain over there. So the holder is basically porcelain. It's made up of silicon. It's nothing but sand itself. It's a very bad conductor. That's why we use it because you know, you it's safe to touch. So that's why we use that. The fuse grip is also exactly made up of porcelain itself. Again, for the same reason that it's a bad conductor. So you remove it and fix it back whenever you want. And then you have the fuse wire that is stuck between two metallic plates. So you have two metallic plates and you put the fuse wire in between. That is how the construction goes. A very simple construction and and then what happens is that it basically goes into the holder so you have a fixed socket that will be fixed to the wall and this will be the porcelain holder which you can remove and then place it back whenever you want so that's how it basically works so you have a so this is the one that matters this thin metallic wire that is the fuse wire that is the one that does all the trick so if in case the current exceeds a certain limit you can see this the disconnection happens and once it gets disconnected the entire circuit is disconnected no more current flows through it and hence the device is kept safe without any sort of you know overheating or uh, a fire breaking out because of overheating none of these things happen because of a working fuse. If in case there is no fuse, what would happen? The current flowing through the circuit, there'll be no, there'll be nothing to keep a check on it. So even if the current exceeds, what will happen? It'll lead to overheating and that could lead to eventual fires or short circuits of that particular circuit. Now, 
talking about a cartridge type fuse cartridge type fuse like i told you something which is used in your bigger uh, you know your bigger equipments like refrigerators and acs and tvs and all that so we use this one so here what you have to do is see in the case of this one though, what you have to do is you have to change this wire so once the uh, fuse gets short circuited or something what you have to do is that you have, if once it's uh, even once it's melted you have to remove this thing so what you have to do is you, you have to loosen up the uh, so you have these uh, you know the what to say screws over here you have loosen it up and then remove the wire and then place it with another wire so that's how you do it but in this case you can't do that so you have to in the case of cartridge type uh, fuse what you do is you have to replace this entire thing so it's, it's actually very uh, cheap you can get it i think for two rupees or three rupees you can get this thing so you can find it in the market you can actually find this so this thing is what is used again you have different rate it's not like everything has the same uh, you know same uh, same current passing through it some of them might have low current passing through it some of them might have higher current passing through it but ultimately the the construction is pretty much the same so you have a glass case then these two are the metal caps that you have and then is a thin wire that is passing through this entire thing from here one end to the other and this thin wire is actually soldered you know like so solid in the sense like it's stuck onto the cap so both of them are stuck onto the metal caps and this will act like the conductor and then it is put into the circuit acting like the fuse simple right so this is something that is used in the, your uh, you know TVs and refrigerators and stuff like that now one of the most important questions here's the thing guys see guys uh, when you talk about the fuse, the fuse is generally connected to the live wire. It's not connected to the neutral wire or the earthing wire. It's always connected to the live wire. But the question is why? Now, if you if you ask this question, how would you answer this? Because this could be asked in your board exams as well. So the question is, how do you answer this question? That why is the fuse connected only to the live wire and why not the neutral wire? See guys, look at the circuit. All right. So you have the live wire. So this is the fuse here. This is the appliance, this is a neutral wire, and then it goes to the mains. From the mains, again, it'll go back uh, through the, you know, through the uh, cables that you have, and again, it'll come back through the live wire. So that's how it goes. So this is how, the, this is how your entire circuit works. Now, when the fuse gets short-circuited, look at this. When the fuse gets short-circuited, there is no current. The current is immediately cut out. The current is immediately cut out because you see this there is no path for the current to flow and i told you this like you already know this that current needs a path to flow so in this case when the fuse gets short circuited current does not have a path to flow and hence the circuit is immediately disconnected with you know complete cut off from the electrical appliance so the electrical appliance is not getting any more electric current whatsoever in this case but 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 if in case if it was connected to something else like the neutral wire it would have been a whole different story like for example look at this so imagine that there's someone who's that uh, okay let's say that uh, uh someone like okay let's say that uh, let's let's take one uh, balika bakra for let's say a naman is standing over here all right so naman is standing over here and uh, he's like uh, confidently touching the uh, the live wire now see the thing guys when the fuse is blown when the fuse is blown in the sense when there is no more uh, you know the fuse is short circuited for some reason he can he can touch the uh, the live wire he, he'll be able to you know even if he touches the live wire it's perfectly fine or if he touches the electrical appliances maybe not the live wire even if he touches the electrical appliances it'll be perfectly fine he'll still be able to smile without that uh, advertisement of you know that shock laga where his hair goes up and down and all that no he'll still be fine he'll be still be able to smile without any sort of problems but if in case the fuse was connected to the neutral wire what would happen is that imagine this look this is how the circuit would look like so the fuse is now connected to the neutral wire and not the live wire now think about it guys. think about it let's say that naman is standing and holding this one now all right he's keeping his hand to the appliance let's say that the fuse is even short circuited let's say that fuse is short circuited and he's still touching it all right thinking that it's safe think about it think about it for a second now for him see guys our body our body contains blood and our body contains a lot of ions a lot of salt a lot of minerals and everything so let me ask you this question is our body a good conductor or a bad conductor or in other words can it conduct electricity forget about good conductor or bad conductor can it conduct electricity or not can our body does it have the capability to conduct electricity to some extent or not exactly yes or no people are, are you guys sure about this 
good conductor exactly because why your body has you know you have you have your you know because you have iron in your body obviously you have a lot of minerals you have ions and a lot of things so because of this reason your body is a good conductor so if in case if in case it is still connected to the live wire and naman ends up touching it what do you think will happen what do you think is going to happen shock laga you know that uh, advertisement like this 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 is the Havels for advertisement you get that no where his hair becomes all like spikes even without going to a hairdresser the whole thing becomes all you know like uh like some uh, what do you call like charcoal face he has and then he has hairs going up and down ha ah, that is what is going to happen if in case he were to touch it because see why your body is a conductor so all that because your 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 hand is touching a higher potential all that electric current that is there will pass through your body into the ground and hence you would end up getting a shock to avoid this itself we always connect the fuse to the live wire and not the neutral wire remember this guys it's a safety issue so if in case tomorrow any of you guys become an engineer an electrical engineer nonetheless and you decide to do this blunder of connecting the fuse to the neutral wire you have to expect what you know naman is going through right now so that's why i'm telling you please remember this guys it's a very important five mark question they might ask us a five mark question and it's a very simple give you know assertion reasoning type wala question why is is connected to the live wire why not the neutral wire is very simple because in live wire the thing is that you're trying you're disconnecting the uh, electrical appliance from any sort of you know you're disconnecting it completely there is no current flowing through it at all but if in case you were to connect to the neutral wire it is still connected to a higher potential so if someone touches it they could still end up getting a shock and that is why we always connect to the live wire and not the neutral wire all right now that this is out of the way let's understand how do we calculate how do we calculate the current rating of a fuse like how do you decide whether you want a 2 ampere wall of fuse or a 10 ampere wall of fuse or a 15 ampere wall of fuse how do you calculate that it's quite simple people so to calculate it it's for individual devices for example if i want to calculate the current uh, the max the current rating of a fuse for which is used in you know, a let's say in ac or right, for an ac so i have to know what is the power consumption of the appliances i have to you know understand the power of the appliances is it 50 watt is it 100 watt is it 120 watt i should understand that first understanding that so basically the total power of the appliance divided by the voltage supply now india in india it's 220 volt it's common pretty much everywhere so the a power of the appliance divided by the voltage supply which is 220 volt that will give you the current rating of the fuse that means that for every single device no matter which electrical device you're talking about could be an ac could be an uh, you know a refrigerator could be a uh, you know could be a tv whatever it is everything has its own power consumption and hence the fuse used in it will also be different it's not going to be the same fuse i cannot use the same type of fuse in every device that i want because every single place is the power consumption is different and hence the fuse that is used would also be different right guys did every one of you guys understand everything so far i know it's all this while it's been a one way conversation i'm really sorry about that so people before we move ahead is everyone clear with the topic yes Okay, okay, okay. Clear, 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 clear. Done. Awesome, people. Is this live? Yeah, Shanti, it is done. I am able to read your chat, so obviously it is live. No, what do you think? Like I can predict that someone called us. Someone is going to text a word. Hey. Okay, anyways. Ah, uh, but this distance. Okay, yeah, it's okay. Anyways, anyways. Welcome, people. Welcome, welcome. So that's it. Let's get back to the topic. Let's get back to the topic. Now, like I told you, people. So if you talk about simple devices, like for example, ah, uh, you know, a simple, let's say, a bulb or a, uh, uh, you know, fan. in this kind of circuits you need less current so over there the you use low rating i know fuses also that is like basically they are low rating they work on they have low power consumption so basically you they work on this 5 ampere uh, power consumption so it's it's okay to use a fuse wire with low current rating over there but if you talk about bigger devices like again acs tvs and all that those would need higher power consumption so for them they'll use a thicker uh, you know wire inside the fuse use as well because they need higher power consumption so over there you can use the 15 ampere wala thing because that is higher power consumption the low power consumption what you don't need uh, you you can use a simple uh, thin wire wala fuse itself but in the 15 ampere one which require a thicker wire over there you'd be using a fuse again uh, higher which can have a higher capacity or which can work 
uh, which has a higher you know current limit as well so that is how you do it but yes guys these days we want it much more easier because every single time when a fuse gets you know when it gets fused you have to keep changing the wire i still remember when i was a kid uh, in my native this is what used to happen like if it gets fused uh, my uncle used to keep changing it every now and then it's it's a it's a lot of tasks but these days guys we have something called as mcbs which is called as a miniature circuit breakers so these are much more convenient it's like a small switch so whenever the current exceeds the circuit certain limit it will automatically turn off and then we can turn the, turn the switch back on you don't have to mess with the wires you don't have to you know remove this thing put the wires nothing the switch is automatically turn off you have to just turn it back on and the current will automatically start to flow this is such an easy thing to do this day so these days so probably every one of you might have this inside your house which is called as an mcb which stands for miniature circuit breakers a lot more easier to use a lot more convenient to use and it's something that uh, you know everyone can uh, easily it's safer as well it's not something that is going to give you an electric shock or anything but this is much more safer to use and hence people prefer this over uh, the fuses these days and it does not take much time also as soon as the you know because see in that and all because the wire has to you know the wire has to reach a certain temperature only then it will melt but here it is not like that as soon as the current exceeds it will immediately shut down so it takes very less time for you to cut out the circuit as well so that, that way it is much more uh, you know better so the advantages of mcbs are that it avoids any kind of inconvenience in the in the sense that you don't have to replace a new fuse wire every single time and apart from that it's much more safer and of a quicker response because you don't have to wait for the wire to heat up and then melt there's no such hassle it will automatically turn off it's called a strip how many of you have heard this word called a strip uh, like you know maybe the you know the there's a trip inside the house maybe uh, your parents maybe your father would have told us i don't know my uh, like in my family there's a common thing so uh, have you guys ever heard of that thing called a strip ha huh? so that is what it means so basically trip means what happens is that switch is turned off that is what so when the current is exceeded the trip in the sense the switch is automatically turned off so you have to turn it back on that's all guys that is all, all right so those are the advantages now <clears throat> okay that was scary all right so now that you understand about fuses let's talk about a little bit about fuse switches as well now the thing is this guys switch is very important why because it helps you to control it gives you a sense of control of the electrical appliances that you have around you you want to turn it on turn it on if you want to turn it off turn it off it's totally up to you you have that sense of control and that is why switches are common in every single house i'm pretty sure that every one of you guys have seen the switch i think from the day that you're born probably from uh, yeah probably maybe you're, you might not remember it but lkg ukg so you might remember at least one or two instances where you turn on the switch and turn it off because it's something that is uh, commonly used everywhere to turn on the circuit and turn it off now there are two types of switches you have a single pole switch and then you have a double pole switch so single pole switch is very simple again it's a switch does the same thing it turns on and turns off so basically when you turn it on the current starts to flow when you turn it off the current stops flowing that's all that is what a switch does so single pole switch is basically something which is used in uh, running a fan or a, you know or your light bulb whatever it is we use a single pole switch double pole switch on the other hand is used in your circuit breakers like the miniature circuit breakers like we just talked about talked about mcbs we have these distribution boards and all that in all of those we use a double pole switch not a single pole switch but rather a double pole switch and generally people these double pole switches have different connections like for example for example i'll just give you an example for example if you talk about single pole switch okay this might be connected to a light bulb below so when you turn on the light when you turn on this switch light will automatically turn on light will turn on so when you turn that off light will turn off but these kind of double pole switch sometimes might turn like for example when you have you ever noticed is that in your mcbs or your distribution boards when they turn on one switch the light in the kitchen and the light in the bedroom goes off have you ever uh, had that experience like during the construction time maybe you have experienced it or during some uh, electrical work have you ever seen that sometimes when you turn off this like when the person turns off the mcb your light and the, the entire thing in the bedroom and the kitchen might have turned on or the the bathroom and the hall might have turned off right those kind of switches generally go with the double pole switch you don't go with the single pole switch at that time we go with the double pole switch so you have two different connections 
connection is given to the same exact switch. So the entire connection inside the bedroom and the entire connection in the bathroom would be going to that one particular switch. Those kind of switches generally go with this double pole switch, right? So that is what, so basically things that you've already experienced, that is why I'm trying to give you examples because you've already experienced all of this. Now, what is special about them? See, using the single pole switch, it is only disconnected to the it is connected to the what live wire. So once you turn off the switch, it disconnects only the live wire, not the neutral wire, only the live wire. But in the case of double pole switch, it is connected to both live as well as the neutral wire. So when you turn it off, you're disconnecting both the live wire and the neutral wire as well. So both of them are disconnected in the case of double pole switch, but in the case of single pole switch, when you turn it off, it's only the live wire that is disconnected. Here, both the live wire and the neutral wire, both of these are simultaneously or at the same time disconnected in the case of these kind of double pole switches. Right guys? Is it clear? Is it clear so far? Is it clear? Is it clear? Is it clear? Understood? Understood? Thank you, Anna. thank you football fans. Thank you, thank you. Your tits, it's all right. Right, we will clear. That's all. That's all. So this is how I. This is all I wanted to say, people. So why again? Why is the switch connected to live wire again? Because you want to uh, disconnect it, or you want to you know disconnect the entire flow of circuit, uh, flow of the current. That is why you do it. Uh, because again, you don't want any uh, current flowing through the circuit. Uh, that is why we always connect to the live wire. Again, why if you want to connect to the neutral wire, even if you turn it off, it will not make much difference because if you touch it, the current could pass through you. So sometimes you get shock when you are even touching the uh, the not only when the when you're touching the appliance sometimes people get shocked when they're touching the uh, the switch itself that is because of some sort of uh, earthing problem or something like that so maybe the fuse might not be working properly or maybe your hand is wet due to n number of reasons this could happen so never connected to the neutral wire again why because uh, your uh, the it is still connected to the higher potential so there's a high chance of getting uh, shocks that is why we should never do it so what are the precautions that you have to do never touch the wire when it's uh, when your hand is wet and apart from that always make sure that there's earthing connection given to uh, every single circuit so make sure that you uh, that your electrician knows that there should be earthing given to it because if earthing is not given then there's a high chance that you might get uh, electric shock when you're using an appliance right guys so that pretty much is the topic for today now before i go ahead i hope that you guys understood everything i know it was like a super fast train but did every one of you guys understand everything that i taught you is there any doubts that you would like to ask me people is there anything that you would like to ask me is it clear so far can we move on to the next quiz time is it good uh no no there are no i have a younger brother also now yeah clear so far people everyone now only two of you guys are answering right only bargavi and uh, lizzie is answering what about all the others high five high five high five high five high five all right then okay people. so let's go on to the quiz before we get into the quiz people i have a very 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 important announcement to make something that is definitely exciting and that my friends is about uh the without the pro subscription course you might know about this already but for the for all those who are new let me just quickly take you through this so people if you want to have such amazing sessions every single day gain 100% knowledge with the best of the best teachers in the country all you have to do is click on the link that is given in the description as well as in the pinned comment section as well now this link takes you into a whole world of online learning where you have the opportunity to attend unlimited live sessions every single day on the Vidantu platform with lots and lots of fun and highest level of quizzes in every single session. You have leaderboards, you have quizzes, you have a lot, a lot, a lot of interesting, uh, you know, uh, platform where you can actually interact with the teacher at any point of time. With all of these people, you have the opportunity to compete with the rest of the world and see where you're at because you don't have session, you don't have just students coming from, you know, one state or from just the country from the entire world there are students attending the session so you have the opportunity to compete with the rest of the world and see where you're at and add it to this people because live sessions are going on 24 into 7 even if you miss out any session not to worry you have the interactive re replay session so if in case you miss out a session don't worry because you can still take part of the quiz and you can still uh, you know check out the leaderboards as well with all of these you can download all the premium content of every single session every handwritten note of every single class you never miss out on something that is important you can watch the replay n number of times you want you can download all the premium content and check out 
about every single things that has been every single thing that is written on the notes with this people we are trying to you know bring in a platform where you don't have just one teacher to help you clear your doubts rather you have two teachers working in hand with each other to clear all your doubts inside the session itself so you will not just have the master teacher to clear your doubts but together with the master teacher you'll also have someone called as a class teacher to clear every single doubt of yours added to this people you will have lots and lots of test papers and assignments to check yourself in every single session and you know out, outside the session as well after every chapter you know to just give you an idea of what are the kind of questions that you can expect in your boards as well as your pre boards so if you're someone who's looking forward for revision or if you're someone who has not started yet if you're someone who's uh, you know already completed the revision you're looking for the second cycle of revision no matter what category you're in we are here to help you out to make sure that you guys do your very best in your uh, final exams and added to all of these people you have 5000 plus micro courses and crash courses all for free all you got to do is click on the link that is given in the description as well as in the pinned comment section the coupon code is ame pro in fact you know what better yet people because it's uh, makar shankaranti today until the 17th of jan you have a chance to avail 50% discount on all the courses that we have and this this offer is only valid till 17th jan and after that again it will come back to the original price that we have the coupon code is ame pro to avail your 50% discount this is my coupon code every teacher has their own so this is my coupon code so if you go for the one month program that's 2699 rupees per month but if you use the coupon code ame pro you get a discount of 50% on that so what you're essentially paying is just 1349 rupees for the whole month and if you go for the three month program that's about uh, 6999 is the cost is the price of that if you use the coupon code ame pro you get a discount on that and the price drops down to 4999 rupees that means that per sessions like for example if you have talked about if you go for the one month program you would have attended about 200 sessions in that one month which means that you are roughly paying about 6 rupees per session and if you go for the six months pro sorry three month program that's about 600 sessions which means about eight rupees per session is what you're paying and the more number of sessions you take the lesser amount of money you're paying per single session which is apparently less than a packet of lace that you'll be right guys it's for your own education so yeah the link is given in the description check it out and uh the offer like i told you is valid only till 17th of jan and the seats are you know filling up soon so make it soon and uh, click on the link and you know avail the discounts as well so people with that said let's get back to the main tea now once again we have five more questions i believe uh, that are left out so quickly join the mentee meter the code is 1452798 let's get it over with so quickly join the mentee i know i know you guys will start a whole rally itself now so mentee mentee so quickly join the mentee meter people the code is 1452798 once you're in let me know so we can get started here yeah. all right we go yeah thank you thank you which is the best book for electronics uh, in the sense for uh, your ICC 10th? ICC 10th, go with, so I, I, I think I already sent out the video for that. s is good. Uh, Together with is also good for reference. And apart from that, you can also go with uh, uh, Selena, though. You have to go through it. So, yeah. Thank you, na, thank you. Na. Very cute. It's a Look at me. <laughs> cute. It's a What am I? Justin Bieber. <laughs> cute. It's a on which particular days per week ICC physics sessions are there? Uh, Jasmine, I think you'll have, uh, uh, we have two to three days, uh, two to three days a week is for ICC. It's, it's, it's only for ICC alone because, you know, we have a lot of things in ICC. There are a lot of stuff that you have to teach in ICC. So because of that reason, I think we'll have two to three sessions. So yeah, beginning, just subscribe to the channel, hit that you know, bell icon so you're notified of it, alright? So I'm going to start the quiz, people. I'm going to start the quiz in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here we go. So, you know, these are all simple questions. I'm pretty sure that every one of you guys would be able to give the right answer. So here's the first one. A fuse is a short piece of wire of dash melting point. High melting point, low melting point, medium melting point, or either high or low. What is it? Come on. I have to get a haircut. That's right. <laughs> All right, the fuse is a short piece of wire of dash melting point. Is it high, low, medium, or uh, either high or low? Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, let me just, uh, yeah, let me just adjust my air. 
<laughs> I look like a nomad. All right, 18 of you guys were able to give the right answer for this question. Congratulations, people. Two of you guys went with high, two of you guys with medium. That is not a bad number at all, people. And yes. Definitely yes, it has to be having a low melting point because if it has a high melting point then there's no purpose of having a fuse, right? So it's always has to be a low melting point with high conductivity. So here is your leaderboard. Unfortunately, Abhishek sir and Pinaki chose the wrong answer. That's okay, that's okay. Because of that, Abhishek sir goes really down. Sorry, Abhishek sir. Keshav on the top, all the way, Kohesh. Then it's Earthman was the first one. So congratulations, buddy. Punya, Abhishek sir, Abhijit, uh, sorry, Abhijay, uh, Pinaki, Prasoon. High five to you, everybody. Then it's Puffy and Homogeneous Himangshu. Homogeneous, heterogeneous, what and all, what and all. All right, moving on to the next question, the fifth question in the overall session. Here we go once again. The question is, two fuse fires are related, 5 amperes and 20 amperes. Which of the two do you think is a thicker wire? Is it the 5 ampere wire? Is it the 20 ampere wire? Both have the same thickness or none of the above. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Yeah, 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 just me. Uh, I think yeah, we'll be able to complete within Jan. For sure, for sure. Don't worry. All right. Jan, uh, by the last week of Jan, uh, we'll be completing all the topics and then we'll start with the revision also. Because like I told you, we have majority of the sessions are dedicated for ICC itself. So we'll complete it out soon. And then once we're done, we'll start with the revision. The one shot, the sprint text, everything will be starting over here as well, right? To uh, 40 of you guys, we're going to give the right answer for this question. Uh, five of you guys with option A. Uh, four with option C. Nonetheless, 14 is a very, very good number. Yes, people, definitely. Yes, the higher the current, the more the heat energy would be produced in it. So you need a thicker wire, right? You need a thicker wire because there's more amount of heat energy produced when you have, uh, you know, uh, what to say, when you have more current passing through it. So a fuse which has a 20 ampere wire uh, or a fuse which is uh, which has a you know high which has a current of 20 ampere which can allow a current of uh, 20 ampere to it would have much more thicker wire in comparison to a 5 ampere uh, you know fuse that's absolutely true so here is your leaderboard once again Keshav Gandhi and Punya unfortunately chose the wrong answer for this question, yeah, this question. Keshav Ji, why? Kohesh goes to the top follower, Earthman was once again the fastest follower, uh, uh, Keshav. Abhijay also was the fastest answer, two people, congratulations. Then it's Puffy, then it's Prasoon, Homogeneous Imangshu, Punya, uh, Kushi and Shizuka, congratulations people, well done. Keep up the good work. With that said, moving on to the next question, uh, we pretty much are uh, done. Two more questions and then we are almost done. Here is your sixth question for the day. The rating of a fuse connected in a lighting, lightning circuit, all right? In a lighting circuit, lighting in the sense, you know, bulbs and all that. What is that? Is it 15 amperes, 5 amperes, 10 amperes or 0? The rating of a fuse connected in a lighting circuit is 15 amperes, 5 amperes, 10 amperes or 0 amperes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to get a haircut, I have to get a haircut. Sure, sure, just me. That's why we are no. Hey, <laughs> Malu rockers. Vedantu <laughs> rockers. Why Malu chetai? It's all right. Why? I should have. I should have told that to the class. I should have told that. Thirteen of you guys were able to give the right answer for this one. Unfortunately, a couple of you guys went with the wrong answer, people. Because see, this lighting and all does not have. I know it does not require so much power. It does not require so much current, and hence we use a uh, the rating of the fuse here. Use over here is five amperes. Whereas if you talk about the bigger appliances like you know in the case of refrigerators and acs and all that they uh they are they work out basically they uh, have higher power consumption and over there we would we would we would be using a fuse of which has higher rating here we would use a fuse which has lower rating so five amperes would be the right answer it's okay it's okay to get it wrong but never get this wrong in your exams in your final exams and your pre boards do not make the same mistake if you talk about low current or low power consumption that will be five amperes all right so unfortunately kohesh shows the wrong answer for this third so Aniket goes, what is this interchanging happening? Keshav, uh, it was first Keshav, Kohesh, then Aniket. Then uh, uh, Keshav went down, Kohesh went up. Then Kohesh went down, uh, Aniket went up. What is all this stuff? Aniket is the top, followed by Keshav, was the fast one, also followed by Kohesh. Then it's Abhijay, uh, Prasoon, Homojin, Zimamshu, Poonia, Kushi, Puffy, and Bhargavi. Congratulations. Full on, you know, interchanging of position is happening. The last question is, last question. And then we are completely done. Here is your full and final question for the day. The question is, a single pole switch disconnects dash from the circuit. Does it disconnect the live wire, the neutral wire, both live and neutral wire, or the earth wire? The single pole switch. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <clears throat> 
I have to think, I have to think, Ganesh. I have to, I have to. Uh, just a request, please write in the description or the video's name if this will be Menti quiz or not. Many times I missed the quizzes just because Menti wasn't written in the description. All right. Uh, Tushar, every live session we will have Menti. Right? Every live session of every single, uh, no matter which which subject it is, we'll have Menti for sure. For live session, so we'll have Menti. So if you see the word live in it, for sure you'll have Menti. All right, so that is the that is a reference that I can give you. 17 of you guys were able to give the right answer. That is not a bad number at all, people. And absolutely correct. It is definitely the live wire. If you talk about the double pole switch, it can disconnects both live and the neutral wire. But in the case of single pole, it disconnects only the live wire. And that is spectacular, people. I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of you guys. Here is your full and final leaderboard for the day. I believe it's Aniket, the strawberry boy who is yep it is aniket who's the winner for today congratulations aniket followed by kesha followed by kuahesh then it's uh, abhijay followed by himamsh homogeneous himamshu followed by Puri, i believe that it's puffy prasoon kushi and bargavi congratulations people congratulations well done aniket you can check that check out the result in the uh, stories i'll be putting it up in the stories as well people so that's it from my side guys that is all for today i hope you uh, understood the topic and this will be a homework so let me know what is the answer in the comment section below the homework is this to which wire should the switch and fuse be connected to such an easy question but do not give me the answer over here think about it refer if you have to for all those who are new refer the question refer the go back to the video once again and let me know what is the answer in the comment section right the question is to which wire should the light bar should the switch and the fuse be connected to yeah anyways that's it for today people that is it for today thank you for joining if you have any doubts do let me know if you don't have any doubts thank you for joining today's session i'll catch you guys in the next one but if you have a doubt stay back and get your doubts cleared uh, i have like five more minutes let's do that and then we can call it a day yep all right ankan ji ankan is with on the rockers are ankan what's up buddy long time so done uh the day students uh oh, thank you thank you sharon thanks a lot buddy welcome 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 so yeah people that's it that's it uh for today uh if you have any doubts please let me know if you don't have any doubts thank you for joining do not forget to hit the like button do not forget to subscribe to the channel as well so that you're notified and hit that bell icon so you're notified as well we'll be coming up with more live sessions like this every single uh week i'll be coming live on every tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays so if you want to you know uh explore yourself and have a lot of fun do the quizzes and everything yeah you can join the sessions right so that's pretty much it people that is all thank you bye bye for now thank you for joining people see you all in the next one yeah thank you football fans you're the only one who said that but i still have to get a haircut because yeah it's too much to handle anyways love you guys dude i love you guys too thank you for joining it's all right it's all right good no worries next session be on time now. next session be on time so i'll see you guys in the next one guys thank you for joining i'll see you guys in the next one catch you guys later have a great evening ahead and uh, stay blessed uh, may god bless india <laughs> see you all in the next one take care of yourselves stay safe love you guys too bye bye take care guys bye bye take care bye bye